Hello everyone, my name is Robert and I'm a computer consultant. I've been working on computers for roughly 15 years professionally and working on them since I was a kid before that. Today we're going to go over installing a wireless network card that's going to allow you to get wireless internet from your old PC to your new wireless router. Uh, it's a great upgrade to do for any older PC. It will work with about 9, nine out of 10 PCs. Uh, it's a very simple fit, uh, upgrade and it's even good to use for a, to upgrade a single band to a dual band wireless uh, card. Uh, there are two different types of wireless cards. We have a single band and a dual band. One works on a 2.4 gig uh, wireless system and the other works on a 5 gig wireless system. This is a great upgrade to do to get two channels out of one PC and it'll allow you to to stream movies better. It'll allow you to maybe even play some video games if you have uh, a computer set up to do that. So what we're gonna use today is a Feb Smart wireless card. So this, ha this is a dual band and it's got the backing plate that I need already installed. When you purchase this from the store or Amazon, it is gonna come with uh, two to three different backing plates. And you're gonna need to take a look and see which one fits uh, for your PC. So I've got that already attached. It's two screws, very simple to, to change out. Pretty self-explanatory once you get it, uh, get it delivered. And we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys the process of installing the wireless card. Now remember, we wanna make sure that we are avoiding any static electricity uh, getting to any of the components so we want to make sure we don't accidentally discharge a capacitor or accidentally touch uh, and, and have a static discharge really on anywhere on this card or on the motherboard. We will fry it. So it's important to be in a static free environment and, um, and that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and get started. So the basic process is there's a clip that retains a backing plate uh, a fr that is kind of a fresh air it's expanded metal. It's a, like a fresh air in, uh, intake. So you'll remove the clip, remove the old backing plate, and you're, then you're going to install your network card into the old backing plate spot. We, we need to make sure that we align our, um, our inputs very carefully. We don't want to twist it or force it in. It should go in nice and smoothly and, and very easily. So we're going to go ahead and do this together. So here are the inputs for my wireless card. It can only go one way, so you're, you're not gonna mess it up. Uh, like I said, make sure that you don't have any static discharge on the motherboard here, and we're gonna begin. So this is the clip that holds the old backing plates. We remove the backing plate, and now we're gonna carefully install our wireless card. Now we got to make sure we get the lip under and slide it in its in the backing uh, the backing plate spot. And now we line up and gently push down. We shouldn't need to force this. If you're forcing it, then you're doing it wrong and there's a problem. So now we've got the card in and we just pull down the retaining clip, put it in place. And that's it. That is how you install a wireless card. So just a reminder, that's a great upgrade to do to any PC that you have. You, all you need to do is open the tower, check if you have those two slots, and if you do, you're good to go. Thanks, everybody.